Hello and welcome to CIO News. I am Kushpa Soni, your host for the broadcast and chief editor at CIO News. This is our exclusive interview series on the topic of voice of CIO. It is a recorded session and will be available on our website, that is cionews.co.in and our CIO News LinkedIn handle. It is my pleasure in inviting our today's guest. Uh, he is Mr. Mohammed Abdul Kalaf Azar, the Head of Information Technology Security and Compliance at Eastern Bank Limited. Uh, Mr. Azar has effective problem solving individual professional with 20 plus years of rich experience in protecting organization security systems and technology and seeking a challenging position in information security. And Mr. Azad has worked with various organizations to help them transform their security operations. Um, it is an absolute pleasure to have you today, uh, Mr. Azad, and uh, thank you so much for taking our time for CIO News. Uh, thank you, Kushbu uh, Soni, and it's my privilege to be part of this uh, presentation, and I'm really feeling honored with you. Uh, so thanks again, thanks to CIO News. Awesome. Uh, so uh, great. Uh, to begin with, uh, uh, you know, Mrs. Al, I wanted to ask the first question as to what are your thoughts on the evolving cybersecurity threats for banking industry 2022? Well, uh, as we feel, and we also see the last couple of years that cybersecurity threat has increased a lot, especially for the financial institute, because attacker targeting financial because uh, they can gain access to the financial system and they can steal money so there is a lots of opportunity for hacker uh, to gain financial benefit that's why they are attacking more but uh, if we do some little bit analysis uh, over uh, last two years at uh, 2020 21 and this year also we see most of the case ransomware attacks is a predominated it means attacker using ransomware they are using ransomware as a service from different location and keep the system for financial organization and claim for the ransom. That's the typical uh, case. And this uh, issue is increasing day by day. And right. again, if you see across the world, we can see lots of skimming attacks, like uh, for ATM and sometimes for the pause machine for a hacker or uh, attacker actually using skimming, uh, fake card uh, and try to steal money, withdraw money. Sometimes uh, they become successful, sometimes they majority them they fail, but uh, a scheming attack is also increasing a lot. So right. from the financial point of view, we see these two attacks is really increasing. One is ransomware and another is scheming. Right, right. Uh, so what do you think as, uh, you know, what are the importance of cybersecurity post-pandemic in the banking industry? And what would be your recommendations on must-have processes and tools to help strengthening the online security? Well, uh, as cybersecurity, you know, cybersecurity is uh, really changing the behavior and really changing the organization from all points of view, especially from process, right. uh, tools, and all these things, and especially change the behavior of employee. Like everybody, we are using email. If we get some email with uh, some attachment, if we click, then it can be uh, installed the RAM somewhere. It can be installed some malware. But we need to change that point of behavior. This is the one aspect. Another aspect is the technology aspect. Like uh, from the technological point of view or from the hardware or from the software, we can prevent that in email. But uh, how many times we can have successful but uh, technology control is always not good for the business. Like technology control do a hardened rule, which actually apply for everywhere. But for some business convenience, but technology rules cannot be that much effective. But we need to be, be aware about that attack and we need to change our behavior. Like we know the password, we need to change the password at regular interval. We need to give the complex password. We should not share the password. That point of view cannot really change from the technology point of view, but that should be changed from the behavior perspective. If anyone can share his or her password to someone else, he will be affected. But that cannot really prevent from the technically, but that should be prevented from the behavior perspective. So right. a pandemic really changed our lifestyle. It really changed our work environment. We really also have to be changed our some process and some practice like 
uh, people are working from home they might be sitting one in a room where his relative is be there or his child maybe there that time they should be more careful because at working in there is somewhere protected but when you work from the home they are open more vulnerability in presence of others that can be harmful on the organization. So we need to really change our behavior at that point also. Right. So are these the only types of cyber attacks that the banking industry is facing or are there more? And uh, you know, what is the banking industry doing to keep their data secured? Sure. Banking industry taking lots of initiative to prevent cyber attack, to keep their data safe. And you also know everybody will ever that the cyber attack is changing its behavior day by day, more sophisticated attack is coming. So coping up with this attack is the main challenge. Like right. uh, everybody have to uh, be aware about the latest attack. So based on the attack, based on the attack pattern, they have to keep their measure and they have to update their protection. So like typically bank is following lots of compliance, PCI DSS, ISO 27001. They are deploying lots of security device for protecting and detecting and responding the cyber attack. So based on the attack, Whenever new attack is coming, bank is assessing the risk of that type of attack and identifying the root cause or identifying the loophole. And based on that, they are deploying their measure. Either it can be technical measure or policy level in or any other control. Right, right. And uh, you know, what are the challenges faced in terms of implementing cybersecurity practices and technologies? And what are the top technology officers in the industry doing to overcome these challenges? Sure. Challenges is the first challenge if you see acceptance from the organization point of view. Like when we are be, um, become uh, somewhere available, some resource, when we like to change some process, like to implement new technology, like to implement new control, they don't feel or uh, don't find uh, as a CISO acceptance from the across the organization and from uh, really from other stakeholders also. So this is the one barrier for implementing new technology and people awareness for using that technology and the control is another challenge really. That is a true challenge. And finally, if you say that lots of investment is required for implementing technologies so can be a, one of the challenge uh, from the organization point of view. Like every time new attack coming, new types of vulnerability arising, so mitigating these new types of uh, detection tools require new types of uh, resource required to monitor. So it's really cost a lot and uh, implementing that cost and budget for that is really uh, challenging for the organization. Yeah. Yeah. And also with uh, you know, so many customers, uh, digital transaction happening post pandemic, uh, you know, it has become very important to take care of the uh, uh, customer's information uh, through risk assessments. So what are the measures that, uh, you know, the bank industry is taking uh, to take care of uh, risk assessment through prote uh, to protect the customer's information? Yeah. Protection of customer data is the prime activity prime objective for the financial organization okay. and financial organization really every time do the proper risk assessment how it can be reached what are the threat vector what are the surface attack surface they identify that properly and based on that they implement different detection tool and the protection tools and mechanism and ultimately they there is a different policy procedure which have to be followed by a, internal employee alert with the customer to protect their data. And definitely banks follow lots of compliance uh, like PCI DSS, okay. ISO 27001, and the central bank compliance, all this and internal policy mm -hmm. to protect this customer data and ultimately protect the customer interest. Correct, correct. Great, uh, great insights, uh, Mr. Zad. One last question before we end today's episode. In the current work from home scenario, how are banks keeping employees and customers with the policy changes and new information security risk and best practices? Right. Yeah, yeah. If sometimes uh, first, uh, at, when the pandemic started at 2020, it was uh, really challenging yeah. because they had the new environment to avoid the new policy and 
post pandemic situation but uh, after two years uh, it's really become normal and it's now a new normal and whenever there is a policy change when is the new control is coming a new way of giving the customer service banks really aware their customer in different media sms website the uh, crew different poster or different webinar banks are uh, doing different types of uh, publicity to aware their customer and banks also giving different types of uh, service through digitally so this customer don't need to come branch and they can get the service digitally and when customer come or get one service they also know from that part different service and different awareness from that part also great conversation sir thank you so much uh, for taking our time uh, once again uh, for us and uh, sharing all your perspectives from the industry standpoint and uh, the on, on a very important topic of cyber security so thank you so much and i'm sure uh, there will be great insights for the viewers thank you thank you thanks to every everybody for sharing and uh, especially thanks to ci news for arranging such wonderful uh, session and thank you to you thank you hello thank you sir thank you